Hi, I'm Shaken Gaming, and I'm back with another Dragon Champions video. It's been a while, but there hasn't been a lot to report, so I thought I'd lay low until something came up, and that something is now Battlegrounds, and with Battlegrounds, Artifacts. This is the Battlegrounds shop, which also features, among others, Dr. Frank, Count Dolman, and Sarah ways to obtain those, but I'm not going to talk about them or the fighting in the battlegrounds itself, but instead about the artifacts. Entering into characters, the individual characters, you'll notice that there are two tabs now, or will be after the next patch. One for the runes, and one for artifacts. You can slot in any artifact you have on any character. They might not benefit them that much, depending on which artifact you put on which character. But you can do as you want, just, with, just as with the runes. So you can put any rune on any character, even though they do not benefit equally among the different characters. More on that. There are both skill increases or new skills that can be uh, added to characters and there are stats changes. How to obtain artifacts? First up, the obvious way, through battlegrounds, but that takes time. And right now I just want to show you some and explain what they do. So the quick way, and here's tip number one for this video. So tip number one, save some drug coins. You can buy not all artifacts, not at all at all, but you can buy quite a lot of different artifacts with drug coins. So that's tip number one. Artifacts also need to be leveled up, upgraded. Our drag coins again. Save drag coins from the moment you see this until they launch. So here you can see a random artifact. At maxed improved level 30, it gives accuracy, it gives tenacity, and then the skill part. On receiving first damage with a 50% chance, gets tenacity increase and armor increase for one turn. Two turns for major shot, once per battle. I've got to put a disclaimer in in the beginning, uh, but all of these are subject to change, of course. But this is the general idea of how they work. So they have two stat increases and then some sort of skill that benefit one character twice as much as everyone else. They might absolutely still be usable on other characters, there's just an extra bonus for using it on a particular character. So in this case we have accuracy, we have tenacity. Mm, that's not bad on Major Shot actually. Let's try a different one. Max improvement, critical damage plus 30, 20%. So going on a character with a lot of crit chance. Shield, 15%. Landing a critical hit has a 25% chance to restore one turn to a random ability. 50% chance for General Murdoch, three times per battle. This means when a character with this artifact hit, make a critical hit, there's a 25% chance to restore a turn to a random ability and this can be done three times per battle. So as soon as you've landed three critical hits, that could be with General Murdoch on his AoE in just one skill use, his AoE, all three are gone. So you can't use it again of course, the stats remain, but the skill 
usage has, uh, most of them at least, have a limited amount of uses. Let's try a different one. Accuracy 10%, armor 500, flat. Landing a critical hit has 25% chance to apply poison for two turns. 50% chance for Kara can be used three times per battle. If you remember Kyra, her skill set, she benefits quite a lot from getting poison on enemies. Therefore, she's good with um, Venomate. They team up real nice. But giving her a chance to apply poison as well for two turns, that's pretty, pretty strong actually. Oh, the purple one. Let's see. Potency, armor. We had that before. No, that was accuracy. Sorry. Percentage per potency, flat armor. Decent for a tank. Each attack on hero turn restores 2.5% of shield per target, but not more than 7.5%. Atom restores 5% per target, but not more than 15%. Okay, so this reads... Whenever Atom hit a target, he gets 5% shield back per target hit. On his basic, he hit everyone, so he will gain 15% shield. This is, this is very strong. And the potency on top, giving him a bigger chance to land his uh, debuff. On his basic skill. This one's nice, really nice. And then some flat armor on top, 500, not bad. So, to show off some quick, and I strongly advise you to do the same, do like this. So, 2700 Dracoins get you 10 artifacts. See what we got. 2 green, 3 green, 4 blue, and 1 purple. These are the first ones I opened, so I have no idea if it's normal. There's a pesky fly around here. Go away. Lucky Foot, Rantha. Live steal, critical hit chance, and restore health on crit. That's decent. Talan, crit chance and life steal. Beginning of turn gains penetration. Twice. Not bad when upgraded, perhaps. Damage, flat, health, 15%. Foul gets 300. Touching an attack increases penetration by 300 once per battle. There's a one from Morpha. Increases max health. And this one isn't um, turn-based. It's permanent. Touching an attack increases penetration. That's the Faust one, the same one, sorry. I forgot to look at the pictures. Let's see the blue. Potency, flat shield, 4k. Nice. Uh, failure. Dealing damage, 25% to gain regeneration for two turns. Nice. You start to see a pattern here. None of these are useless. They're so much better than the art, the, the rooms. So, artifacts are going to give you a big boost to your accounts. Viability in any content. Damage percent, shield percent. Morpha, again. Oh, that's the same again. Uh, but now you can see Cursed Doll. Cursed Doll, Critical Damage, Armor 2020, Damage, Shield 1015, 
This is the upgraded version, and it's different. At the start of the turn, increases damage. At the start of battle, increases health. So here comes the complexity. Upgrading this, which the skill use at least is very strong for Morpha. The stats aren't that great. While the other one has much stronger stats for her, but a much weaker skill. So upgrading your artifacts changes them. That's a warning, but also a possibility. And there's so much left to uncover here. Go away. Where's the fly swatter? Might need to find it later if it continues. Uh, major shot on receiving first damage with fifth. Uh, yeah. These texts are not completely up to date yet. They will be changed before the release of the patch. But this means when major shot gets hit, he has a 50% chance to get tenacity increase and armor increase for two turns. Other characters, one turn. Two left. Illyria, receiving damage equal or more than 50% of maximum health applies invisibility. That's nice for a healer. And the purple one. Shabby baby statuette. Accuracy, flat health. At the end of turn, restores 5% of maximum health, 10% for Kim Lee. Okay, that was nearly the worst one we got, and I got, and that's the purple one. Next level. Let's see. We do like this, because I'm on the test account. I have 7.2 7 million Dracoins. Don't do this at home, it will ruin you. I'm just filling up here, really. There, that's enough for now. And let's claim some... Artifacts, if I ever get to the bottom of my arena ranks. Too many artifacts. Okay, I already received them in. So here we are in the character selection. Artifacts, click there, and here's the hundred that I could get. And uh, let's sort or filter something. Can we show specific for this one? Did I get any legendary? No. Let me see epics. Yeah. Can I search in any way? I would like to see those that applied to Shadar specifically. Um, all those that have been uncovered so far by the testers. It's not every artifact, and I know the devs are still working on more. You can find them in uh, BADC. On that site, there's a link in the description below. You can click that and see them when it's available. I'm not sure it's released yet, but eventually it will be. But uh, sadly in here you cannot see which character they belong to. We need to click through them. Kinley, Kinley, Hardog. Right now I'm just interested in Shadar really. If you really want, you can pause this video and look through. Our oh, Slinger catches my eye. Losing health below 100% has a 30% chance 
60 for Slinger to apply damage increase for two turns can be applied twice per battle. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Maybe I should go to Slinger instead, but right now I'm just on Shadal. Let's see if we can find anything for him. Hera, Lake, Patriot, Kui, Shot, Pig Old, Decent Rock. Mm. That's a different one for Slinger. That's definitely not half as good. There's so many. I'm not going over them. If you want to see them, you will just have to pause the video. I'll just click through and you can see that it is a, it is a bit of a lottery because I was now I'm specifically looking for Shadar to see what he got. Well, in theory, I'm looking at demons in general because I'm a fan of them. And I just found Venomate. Applying a debuff increases potency by 1%. 2% for Venomate can happen three times max. And the stats increase to help you. Do I have nothing for Shadar? Can Lee, can Lee get him a lot? And sh Maybe not all are released yet. Maybe there's nothing for Shadar in the chests. I don't know. We'll have to see, wait and see. But it looks like we... Oh, that was the first Nightil and Solius. That will interest a lot. Getting a debuff has debuff has 3% chance to get debuff immunity for two turns, 6% chance for Solius once per battle. And 18% uh, 18 flat. What's that? I don't know really. Damage. Flat damage 300. Wow. That's a lot for a healer and 15% health. Hmm. That was worth upgrading if I don't find anything for Shadar. Landing a critical hit has 10% chance, 20% for Night Hill to apply armor decrease for one turn to one enemy, three times per battle, once per turn. That's also evil, might be evil on an um, elf team. Last one. Ember. Atom, Kinley, 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 Kinley. He's all over the place, Hilda. Got so many for Darian and Kindly. Oh, that was one for Little Batty. That might interest people as well. Receiving damage increases tenacity by 0 0.2%. 0.4% for Little Batty. 0 0.2? That's too low. That might be a mistake. Again, subject to change, possibly. But that one seems a little bit off, even as a gray one. Oh, the very, very last one. Shada! At the start of the turn, gains 0%, 0 percent, 0.5 percent life steal, 1 percent for Shada, twice per battle. Thank you. I'm not saying this is a great one, especially looking at the. Oh, but now see what happens. We have 0.9% potency and 0.9% health increase. Max improved, level 30, 15% potency. Now that's good for Shadar, 15% health. At the start of the turn, gains 2.5% lifesteal, 5% for Shadar, twice per battle. And there's some story. Never mind with that for now. So, upgrading. That's the next part. There are two ways. You can increase max level, you can level up, and you can star up. Okay, that's three ways. Sorry. Star up, I don't have anything suitable, since I only found the one. Uh, max level, we just... Click a random. Oh, it's time for the second tip. Sorry. Did you see what I used to do that? Gold. Save your gold. We can level up. 
let's take these. You can use either these fragments or you can use artifacts that you're not going to use anyway and then just slot them in. But obviously, let's see here, 1000, 2000. So these give a lot more, 4000. So you get a lot farther with further with those. Oh, sorry, I forgot to look at the numbers. I think that was 195k gold to upgrade to level 13. Save your gold, save your dark coins. Let's see how much is 30 from here. 250 more. Um, let's take a fresh one because I want to confirm the numbers. Possibly also take an epic one because that might be more expensive. I'm not sure. Upgrade the epic one. Fifteen. Okay, I need to max increase level first. Let's take a random one. Hundred K. Level cap increased. Then I have to wait until level thirty. This one can be start up if I have others, but I'm not going to do that now. Now it's two hundred K, right? And then we need to get level 30. That's 1.4 million. So that puts us on 1.6. I like other similar. It is level 30. Come on. Maximum. I need to star it up then to get further. But now I need more of these to star it further up. But that was quite a lot of gold for one artifact. And it's a three star. It can be a five star. Save your gold. Save your dark coins for this. Because you can see it's definitely worth it. But this video is getting too long. I could continue talking for hours about this. There's so much stuff going on. And finally, Battlegrounds are coming soon. I might release a video or two about that as well. But I'm definitely going to cover more about artifacts, which ones to use on which characters. Because some are so good. I've seen uh, earlier on the test server uh, that others posted that it might not necessarily be the character listed. Even though it's twice as good for that character, it might be very good still for other characters as well. Stay in touch. Subscribe if you want to know. Uh, be notified about my next video. Check the links in the description below for my Discord server and my infographics and badc.info. Mm, have a great day.